This is a new dress. Yeah, I. Uh, well, it's it's not new in the sense that uh, that it was just released. It was released years ago, and then I've got the bonnet for this dress in green, in dark green, coming soon. And then it should be well ready for my Christmas tea party that I'm gonna have for a few people. <laughs> Lolita is a fashion of Japanese street fashion. It's inspired by the classic Victorian type of dress that they would wear. This here is my wardrobe. My favorite things are swans and crescent moons. I've got some crescent moon uh, accessories. When I put it any Lolita dress on, I always feel like a princess. I feel beautiful. I look forward to the day getting to be with my friends all dressed up in something that we love. We get to have one day where we can just kick back, relax, and dress the way we want and without having to worry. <laughs> There is a lifestyle aspect to it. While we wear the fashion, we are supposed to be elegant and proper. Minding your manners, speaking politely. I want to see everyone's sports. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody else has put together. I'm sure everybody's gonna look phenomenal no matter what. Mm -hmm. Coordinates take time. It has to suit you. It has to show you. It's about your personality showing through a coordinate. I prefer a more formal kind of attire. So when I wear Lolita, I can actually feel like I'm cutesy and modest and I'm prettier. It helps you a lot with, us, with your self-esteem, or at least for me it does. There's a sense of knowing that you have people supporting you to be different. It means a lot. I remember in high school, they started calling me something that is called La Tepesa. La Tepesa is a monster. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> if I didn't have Lolita, I... I don't really know. I wouldn't know a lot of people. I'm really nervous about the tea party because it's my first tea party. My first big tea party. Being able to wear Lolita is very much freeing. As a teenager, I wanted to wear fashions that I wasn't really able to wear. Hand-me-downs were the thing, so a lot of the clothing were hoodies and t-shirts. Nothing, nothing great. I put on my headphones to drown out the world and to like be in a zone. This taps into my artistic aura. <laughs> I would describe myself as leaning towards a gothic, classic, and punk aesthetic. Dark and edgy. <laughs> a bit of sweet, I guess. Mostly dark and edgy. <laughs> when you're in Lolita, it's not about how big your boobs are or how fat your ass is supposed to be. It's a lot more about, oh, you're wearing something nice. It makes me feel feminine and it's not about what other people think. It is about what I think about myself, first and foremost. I never tried to hide my being a Lolita. It's like, yeah, this is my biggest hobby. This is what I do. And, and at first he didn't say anything, but then uh, he started telling me, you're not allowed to do that. You know, you have to give it up eventually. By the end of our relationship, he was basically telling me, you know, like, either, either give up Lolita or I'm breaking up with you. And so I'm like, fine, go, leave. <laughs> when people make fun of Lolita, they don't really know what a Lolita is or what really the fashion means or what's behind it. I know my friends have said that they've had people say things like, you're the reason we have pedophiles. And it's surprising because there's nothing sexual about the fashion at all. Like, it's very modest. You know, we have to, our, our necklines need to be covered. You know, we can't show any cleavage. 
that's on all the pieces. Spot on. Perfect. <laughs> How long have you guys been into Lolita for? So far it's about a little bit more than one year and a half. So far I have 26 and I really want to, to buy the 27th like that. You want this one? Yeah. I've liked it for a lot of years. Like I'd say, what? how many, about eight? I started wearing Lolita six months ago. Wow. One of the people in the community was selling her dress. As soon as I put it on, it was everything. <laughs> it's a very welcoming feeling being in a room of women who are accepting of each other and not trying to claw out each other's eyes. They were complimenting me about the rings and my necklace. It feels like I'm finally part of something. 